catering for around about 71 people a day at the base camp here. And then obviously that's every day, breakfast, lunch, afternoon snack, evening meal and, and, and a late snack as well. And then later on towards that, two days before the game starts, wherever it's going to be, I'll travel ahead of the team to set up the next hotel. So when we go to Cape Town, I'll go two days before, set up the hotel there, which I've already been to previously. I've got one, one second chef, which is a guy called Lee Maycott, who's come with me. We've known each other a long time now, um, 20 years, believe it or not. So yeah, we know how we work and uh, our own sort of strengths and weaknesses. So yeah, I think we work quite well together. And we've got up to 18 chefs in the kitchen, um, but at any one time there's going to be about seven to eight chefs in there, helping us too there. You okay with that, Diane? Mm -hmm. Just give it a good clean out. We'll put all the salads into that one as well then. You right, Rudy? Yeah? It's always quite difficult on the first day to get um, everybody working as a system. Once you've, uh, once you've got the system working, you know, it's quite easy then. The lunchtime one will be more carbs in, in, in fluxes with uh, white, white meats. The afternoon one is all proteins, so obviously there's no, there's no sort of calories to burn off there with the proteins. And then the evening one will be more to do with red meats, so that when their bodies are sleeping, the, the red meat can digest. Quite a lot of pasta as well. They go through a lot of pasta. Um, we do two or three different pastas every day. And, and some sort of sauces that are, again, not creamy sauces, things like tomato sauces and uh, maybe some bolognese. A healthy, balanced diet. Um, mixing carbs, proteins uh, and vitamins. This one's now just grilled, plain grilled chicken. So uh, again, we'll just solid, seal that on a solid top and then into the ovens. So it's the healthiest way of cooking. It'll be nice and tender. Just the salmon there, just plain salmon. And then we'll just char grill that on the char grill, which is over here. What we've tried to do with the afternoon snack is to try and make it a little bit quirky. So we're doing like little mini hot chocolates for them, uh, low fat hot chocolates. We're doing little protein cakes, we're doing sushi, um, which always goes down well, which again is, is just pure protein basically. The uh, nutritionist will sit down with Fabio uh, after I've worked out the menus and he'll go through and say the yeses and noes that he wants. We made it compulsory as well, so they all have to come down for every break and it just gets them out of their rooms, gets them talking, gets a little bit more of a, a team atmosphere going as well. To be fair, there's not really any fuss, fussy eaters in, in the team. Because it's a balanced diet, there is such a variety of foods to choose from that you know, they're, they're, they've got ample choices. They're all big eaters because they're, they're, like, they're like racehorses. You know, they've, they've got to be fed you know, the, the right food. And if they're not fed the right food, they're not going to perform. So that's the, that's the way that I look at it.